So here is the lines of um, the Mercedes Ca Cabrio. Cabrio. I had no idea it was called Cabrio. I had no idea what a Cabrio was prior to actually modeling this because I was kind of interested as to how it cut. It's a very sharp, sharp cut. I thought it was just a Mercedes. I'm still trying to find out the full name of the vehicle that I'm actually modeling. <laughs> I just found the blueprints with like some random Mercedes and I just started drawing them. But anyway, so as you can probably see, I have started using a new program instead of Maya to draw the curves. And essentially what I did was, same as last time, just draw curves that helped me to find the surfaces of the vehicle instead of defining the cuts and the shapes so I skipped uh, drawing out the door but I did model I did draw how it's going to convex and concave as well the rear I feel like I could put in more detail on there I feel like I'm missing something but yeah um yeah I don't know like I started using my 3D and I gotta say like kind of idiot proof for me it, it was a very fast learning curve for this program um, a lot of really uh, um, really fast it, it's just really fast to learn as it didn't take me long to learn I just watched a couple of YouTube tutorials basic things of what I needed to be able to draw out the curves and you know the I think the documentation of my 3D was also kind of good enough for what I needed and uh, using that basic information I was able to draw these lines. The next challenge now will be converting these lines into surfaces and um, I really don't know how I'm going to go about that. I really don't know how I'm going like I don't know how I'm going to do it and I don't know how it's going to turn out. So, my fingers are crossed for this next process. And, um, yeah, hopefully it's gonna turn out good. Anyway, uh, I'll see how I go. But, uh, any, all in all, this only took me a day to do. Like, a day of dicking about and not really doing much. With that being said, I'll uh, just see how I go about it. <laughs> 